So whenever you are about to test your Spring MVC endpoints, for example, for a Spring Boot application, you have several options. So the first option would be to write a plain unit test with using just Mokito and JUnit. So this way we could create an instance of our user controller here, which is our class under test, then mock this user service to define its behavior during test execution, and we could then test our public methods here step by step. While this would work, we wouldn't add much benefit at all. So at least we could add some conditionals if we had them here. So some if else, some for loops, for example. But we would actually miss out on a lot of things that can be tested and also should be tested. So for example, we would not make sure that this path variable is correctly mapped here or that spring properly detects this endpoint and invokes it whenever we reach slash api slash users and then a username also we wouldn't make sure that we properly serialize and deserialize any message payload so also here when we have a post endpoint with this request body so with a unit test we would just pass a user instance here whereas during runtime we actually receive here a json payload which then needs to be serialized to this user here and in addition to this also needs to be validated so all of this we are not able to test when writing a unit test that just uses mokito and junit fortunately spring provides a mechanism to properly test uh, our controller endpoints which is mock mvc so with mock mvc we can write tests against a mocked servlet environment there won't be any real http communication happening for the for such tests but still we can perform requests and include http headers and an http body which are then directly invoking our mocked servlet environment which then also includes a spring context where our controller and our service classes are in and several MVC components are properly bootstrapped. So in this way, we can easily test our controller endpoints and get more benefits than just writing plain old unit tests. So let's see how we can create such a mock MVC instance for our user controller here. So this user controller is a simple endpoint which has one collaborator which is this user service and then three public api endpoints so one to get all users one to get the user by its username and then the last endpoint to create a new user we are an http post where we pass payload alongside the request and let's see how we can create a mock mvc instance first so therefore let's create first a new unit test i'm using junit5 for this example so there are several ways to bootstrap mock MVC. The most simplest one is to use the at web MVC test annotation. And what this annotation will do, if we take a look into it. So here this annotation is coming from Spring Boot. So it's additional test support from Spring Boot, which will auto configure a slice Spring context for us, containing just enough components that we need to write MVC test. So here they explain what components or what, which beans will be auto-configured. So here we see, for example, our controllers or controller advices. So if you have a controller advice that catches several exceptions and returns different HTTP status codes, you could also test such scenarios with these tests. Then also converters, filters, the web MVC configurer. So basically everything that is important for web tests. So apart from this sliced spring context that is created for us, we'll also see here that mock MVC will be auto configured for us. And we can then already inject mock MVC to such tests. So one thing to mention when using this web MVC test, um, we should um, define the controller we want to test. So this is not necessary. So if we don't specify the controller here, Spring Boot would then populate all our controllers in the slice context which might be too much for bigger projects where you then have to also mock their collaborators because for such tests usually usually you mock the collaborator of your controllers because you want to focus on testing your controllers in isolation so therefore we use mock bean and define that our user service is mocked so what this mock bean here will do so this is different from the add mock from Mokito. As you see here, this annotation is coming from Spring Boot. 
What this will do, that this will place a mocked variant of the user service inside this slice spring context we get here with, with the add web MVC test annotation. So this way we satisfy our user controller as we here with the public constructor inject a user service during runtime. And as we don't want the real implementation here, we use a mocked one and that's why we specified here. So then let's try to auto wire the mock MVC instance we get out of the box. So therefore let's write a simple test. This first is just here to make sure that mock MVC is part of the application context. So here we can say we don't, we are expecting that mock MVC is not null. And if we now execute our test, we will see here a passing test. And when scrolling down, we also see here our spring boot banner. So spring test in the background started a spring test context for us, did some basic in initialization, and we were able to auto wire here the smock MVC, which we can then work with to fire requests against our application. So if this default configuration of mock MVC is not fitting for your purposes, you can also tweak it a little bit. So therefore I use this at auto configure mock MVC. So here you then have access to several parameters where you can further tweak this auto configured mock MVC instance. So for example, here you can toggle on toggle off the filters. You will see here the default is true. You can also tweak a little bit the printing to the console. In addition to this, you can also manually bootstrap your mock MVC instance to have full control. So therefore, one possible way is to here inject the web application context. So as we get a web application context with this web MVC test, we can inject it to our test here. And then instead of auto wiring here, we could use before each and then set up mock MVC inside it. And therefore we can say this dot mock MVC and then spring provides a mock MVC builder, which we can then use to say either standalone setup or web app context setup. And with this web app context setup, we can then pass our web application context and then can also further tweak this. So for example, then here at a dispatcher servlet customizer at filters on our own. So that we could include or exclude several filters that we want for our test. So there's then way more to configure or for example, also apply where we could then apply our security. So here there's also a spring security configurer that we can then pass and in the end then say build. So this way we would also create a mock MVC instance on our own. So see here test is still green where we could further tweak it. Another way is to use the standalone setup and here we have to pass our controller. So here we have to instantiate for example our user controller on our own. And then for sure here pass its collaborators. So here we could then use a mocked version of it, but let's do here null for now to make sure we at least get a mock MVC instance. And then there are a lot more things to configure here. So you could then say, I want to add this specific controller advice. You could also add interceptors, argument resolvers, flash map managers. So there you can tweak it to your needs. So if we do it really basic, so we just create a mock MVC instance that just contains here our user controller, and we will then rerun the test. We'll see here the test is still green again, as this is the third way of creating mock MVC on our own by using the standalone setup. But for this demonstration, and in general, I would also always stick to the auto configured one as otherwise you might have issues with your setup and getting help on stick overflow, for example, uh, gets more complicated as your project is then more or less a Unix snowflake. Whereas if you use the default auto configured one, you can follow the spring test documentation step by step and stick to the standards.